It all boils down to this four letter word in my language we call Beishimu. But let's begin. I now perform my responsibility. A lot has been happening over the past few days, and I mean a lot. The good, the bad, and the biggest news in Africa right now, overtaking all other news in the world. Putting me in a mini vacation, as you could tell. Because that can affect Africa directly and indirectly. I mean, this is one of the biggest countries in Africa. Well, I'm not the one to talk about politics because personally, I don't like politics. And I fall into a subset of a group of people who think the same. Or should I say, have learned from their mistakes. Well, since this is a music channel, musicians, specifically two Nigerian musicians, have been called out for remaining silent amidst the noise. And you know what they say? Silence is loud. Two of the biggest artists in Nigeria. Es especially the freedom fighter. Captain Burner. He's a hero. Gonna take corruption down to zero. <laughs> They were saying that he didn't even put his voice in any of the situation, no encouragement, nothing. Especially since he's a freedom fighter. After that, he came to one INEC. Oh, oh my. then I was so far. Eh, and the Nigerians no spare him. They no spare him. And they went as far as to call him African Ant. Hey! Chunshin. Chunshin. Chunshin means cook. <laughs> and his partner in crime, Whiskey, also got the backlash. Hey! He was bullied all the way to Facebook. Hey, Facebook! <laughs> Don't be small travel, your man travel from Twitter to Facebook. Yeah, we're good at traveler. Hey, don't try Nigerian. Uh, if he had promoted on Twitter around that, they would have. Uh, hey! I know he was enjoying himself in Ghana, playing Jama. Wow, Nigerians are really angry that they stayed side. After Starboy himself even declared, Next election we shall show real power. Yeah, 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 At this point, the way I'm trolling these two people, they even mind me if I reach out to them. Oh my god. Well, with what they stand for or stood for, and Nigerians being angry with them, I totally understand. But, but, do you realize that? Almost all the Nigerian artists were silent about the elections. Mm? They didn't utter a word. Some of them even changed career paths. I mean, hey, Kuto, multi talented. Ah, Thank you. Everyone was silent. The question is, why? Well, I'll tell you why. Well, see, I know the comment section will be like, Oh, Bri, who is this nonsense guy coming to talk about politics or this sensitive topic like this? Who are you? Eh, it's a sensitive topic, more more. I see, I'm not going to talk about any political party. I'm just here to talk about musicians mostly and why they choose to stay away from politics. Kill her, kill her. First of all, Nigerian music has had an impact both home and abroad. And one of the most respected musicians in Nigeria is Fela Kuti. Always for the people talking about political issues, challenging the politicians, challenging the status quo. Yeah, this song was a banger, man. But, but, it came with consequences. If you want to challenge the status quo, just know that politics is a dirty game. Meaning, if you involve yourself in politics, be prepared to play the dirty game. Because if you go against any party, there are some members who are willing to play that dirty game. And oh, <laughs> don't come for the trust me. And you might get injured in the process. Zombie. So the first reason is the fear of getting injured. And so most people won't know how it feels until they are actually in their shoes. I mean, if you have a very large following, I mean very large, you are seen as a threat to those in power, especially if you oppose them. One of the most sensitive topics in the world is politics, because it directly and indirectly affects every single person. And that can alienate fans, divide fans. And I mean, as a businessman, nobody wants that. And yes, that's why Benaboy tried to defend himself, because 
he knows the consequences. I don't know why it's such a big deal to some Nigerians that I have not been vocal about the elections. Personally, I don't have any candidate that I believe in. I've never supported any political party or candidate in my life because I don't want to make you vote and blame me when the person fucks up as usual. That being said, I hope all votes count and the best man win. You know, he'll sing it in his songs and everything, but to directly get involved, because no matter what you do, you alienate fans. And in politics, when it's positive, oh, it's real positive. But when it is negative, it's bad. It's bad, man. So every musician is like this. Music, if I should simply put it, is an escape from the hard life, all the troubles, all the experiences, trials, tribulations that comes out. Escape. Music is like drugs, well, to me, if not more. It's a state in which you can feel peace, serenity, and enjoyment. A lot of us are running from troubles, all the politics, social issues, and everything to go to music. Now, if we involve politics inside, uh, where are we running to now? But granted, granted, there have been some musicians who have been able to bridge the gap between art and politics and have done it perfectly. Someone like Fela. And the intent is for a better country, a better Nigeria. Everybody wants that. Well, that's where courage comes in. But is everyone courageous? Guys, I'm talking superficially. I'm not pointing fingers. Remember that. This can be for any country. Please, I beg you. Pick up. And note, I'm not defending musicians. I'm just telling you how they think and what runs through their mind. But remember what I started with in the beginning, the four letter word. Bei Shimo. See, politics can take a toll on your time, your energy, and your mental health. And it pushes creativity to the side. Well, to some extent. And creativity, as you can say, is what really feeds musicians. And many musicians see themselves as artists rather than political activists. But you know, with great power comes great responsibility, man. So it's kind of mentally draining for them. And if you do it right and you select the right person, you are seen as a hero. If it goes the other way, the person you spent your time and energy fucks up, then like you don't want to be in that situation trust me that could literally end your career no joke and experience can only teach you that and that's why the experienced people or the managers will tell their people keep quiet let this pass read the room don't utter a word anything you say or do can go against you in the future so you realize why every musician is silent Politics is too sensitive, man. It divides. And so now everything boils down to what I said in the beginning. Be shimu. Mm. You either have fear or you have courage. They both do the same thing. Motivate. Fear motivates you to stay away. Courage motivates you to challenge. But that might cost you everything. In the long run, everyone is selfish. They're looking out for themselves first. Every businessman is always weighing this first. They might not tell you, but now you know. But with that said, I think one thing that every musician should have done if they had not done already is to encourage people to exercise their right to vote. That's the most important thing because it affects everyone directly or indirectly. Well, from history and experience, most of them have learned not to choose a side. And that's why they were all silent about the topic. But what do you think, guys? Tell me in the comment section below, peacefully. Just come down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.